Good morning. It is Christmas list. My voice is not 100%. Last night we had one heck of a night. And over the course of the last few hours, I was really debating, should I share this with the public or not? Is this something that I should share? My channel has always remained authentic and positive. I've never posted a video like this in the past, but travel has ups and downs. And last night, uh, unfortunately, um, we had a down moment. And before I begin with the story, I'm gonna keep this video very short. What happened last night is not a representation of the police in Kenya. Um, through the course of this mishap, I actually met some really nice police that were overly um, authentic. So I don't want you to think that this is bad. This is not the kind of video that says that the tourists do not come to Kenya because it's dangerous because it's not. I love Kenya. Kenya is one of my favorite countries, the nicest people in the world. So a really, really loud disclaimer. I do not judge a country, a village, uh, a city uh, based on one or two, or in this case, five idiots. But what I'm going to tell you right now is exactly what happened. Um, take it as it is. I'm sharing with you a story. I also have video clips because, you know, I document things. When things are going wrong, I pull out my camera and I film it. I'm not. Are you, are you, are you a police officer? I'm not. I'm Why not do you it out Why are you inside here? Why do you rob us? You are defending police officer here. Why do you robbing us money from in this bag? Are you okay. run away with our camera? Why can't you? Why, why can't you do your work? Where's yeah. the camera of Chris? Yes. I tell you when I'm there. No. You guys, you are. So now you will tell. Alone. No, no, guys, you stole. No, 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 no. You stole. Uh -huh. Why are you pushing me? Because he, he needs help. He needs help. That's why. That's why I'll help. I want you to assist me yeah. and cover this man. Yes, let's do it. Just right here. Hold it. No, no, yeah. he's yeah. a police officer. No. Just hold him. Hold it. You will. No. I will. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh 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 yeah. Let's start last night. Last night, <clears throat> we had a little mini bar here, Masai Mara, and it was just the two of us, Uncle Mo and myself. Uh, somehow, I don't know how, the driver from the safari uh, found out where we were, okay, and just showed up, so... If you watch any video, you'll see that he's there. I don't recall his name. Forgive me. He did nothing wrong. We had a great time. We were celebrating 200,000 subscribers that I got. We were also celebrating Mo, uh, his first time at Masai Mara. Okay, we had one little rum. I don't know the size, but like a, a smaller one. And we're two men. We spent about two hours there drinking the rum with the Coke. Mo got up and danced like he normally does. We stayed in the front of this little bar. Okay, it's like a... Yes, you're just sitting at the bar. Right in front of you is the woman that serves the drinks. Now behind us, there's another room with people. Uh, never once the whole night did I enter the room. The camera I'm filming on right now is a Sony camera. This is what it looks like. Never once did I pull this camera out of Mo's bag. It was in Mo's bag from the safari. See, when I travel, I don't have anywhere to put it. I don't want to carry a big backpack around. So my camera was in Mo's bag. Okay, uh, if you're with me on the 200,000 celebration, you'll see I was on live at the same bar. So I'll put a link to the live if you want to get a better understanding of what this bar looked like and what was happening. There'll be a link down below. <clears throat> now, I went outside and I was filming a little bit of the neighboring place. And one woman's like, buy me a drink or you bought me a drink. And no, I never bought a woman a drink, ever. I'm married. I don't buy women drinks, so I said no. I didn't buy any. I didn't buy any women to drink, and I kept walking. I walked next door, and there were some guys playing pool. I just wanted to check it out. Now, as I was returning to the outside of this bar, which we already determined we're going to leave, um, there was a big group of people surrounding Mo. So my first instinct was to turn the live off. I said, "Guys, I'm gone. Thank you." And I shut the live off, put it in my pocket, and these pants are like the best. They have zipper pockets. That's why I love them so much. For traveling, it's whether I'm on a motorcycle or whether I worry about a pickpocket or etc. I just know my stuff is safe in the zipper pocket. So as I approached Mo, there was five people, exactly five. I'm not telling you that there was, there's five. There's five people surrounding Mo. Two of them claimed to be police officers, okay? One pulled out the badge. So even though he was drunk, I could see he was highly intoxicated. His eyes were like blood, bloodshot. I'm like, there's a police officer. Yes. He's like, to Mo, you're from Uganda. 
and he was talking about illegally here. They're speaking English, and he said, Mo's like, no, I'm Kenyan. So he pulled out his, his national ID. The guy took the ID and put it in his pocket. Next, the police officer went through Mo's bag, took my camera, which is this Sony camera here, passed it off to another guy, and that guy was acting like real, real aggressive. So at this point, we got five people around us, two of which I know are police officers, but based on the way they were acting, almost like gang-like mentality, um, I thought they were all officers. I thought all five of them were officers. I said, there's no way, I, look, I would never, ever, in a million years, if, if somebody robbed my camera, like went through the bag and took it, uh, I'm not trying to act brave, but we're, it's gonna go, we're gonna fight. You're not gonna take away my stuff. I was taught at a young age, you're not stealing from me, okay? So this guy took the camera. I couldn't do anything in, in defense because the last thing I want to do is get aggressive with a police officer, whether he's on drugs or drunk or not. I don't want to go to court. I don't want to go to jail. So I let him have his way. He had my camera, and then he started reaching for my pocket for my phones, and I was hitting, him, hitting his hand off my, my pocket. The zipper really helped. And as this is happening, the commotion, there's five people surrounding me, all trying to reach in my pocket at the same time. I'm not knowing if these are real police, if these are, what, what's going on. So I go back in the bar and I tell the waitress, call the police. And she said she would, but I didn't know if she was friends with the people outside. I really had no confidence that she was going to call. I came back out because I didn't want to leave Mo alone because they were aggressively around him, pushing him around as well. I jumped back in the mix. Okay, <clears throat> 10 minutes goes by and this smaller officer appears in, in regular green outfit. You'll see him in the video. And... <clears throat> He appears, and I didn't know him to be a police officer. All I thought is he's a friend of these guys. Who knows what's going on? And at that point, the guy that had my camera literally like just ran down the street into darkness. Mo and I chased him a little bit. He was a lot faster than me, and he was gone. He knew the territory. He was gone with the camera. Uh, so at that point, I thought the camera's gone, okay? Smaller officer comes and says, Chris, what happened? And we describe what happened. Look, drunk police officers or drugged up police officers came up to us with ID Mo has a very good sharp memory. He remembered the three digit number and name when the ID was shown. Okay, um, so he announced the name. This is the name of the police officer and there's the number. And the person that came said, oh, I know who that is. He is a police officer, I know who he is. I don't wanna keep this story going long. As we return to the, the police office to, to, to write our statement, the same person that had stole my camera returned, different outfit, no camera, he changed his clothes. He must have went home, left the camera at home, changed his clothes, or hid the camera, I don't know. He's like, I heard that you're looking for me. I did nothing wrong. I did not steal anything. At that point, the police officer asked me again in the green shirt, is this the man? I said, this is the man. Uncle Mo's like, this is the man that pretended to be a police officer, and he stole, he stole our stuff, our ID and our camera. Okay. And there's a little bit of money with the ID. It's like not enough to even talk about. The whole time I'm thinking, what the hell is going on? I never met this police officer before. I've done nothing wrong. But in the back of my mind, I'm like, this guy must be really hiding something. He thought that we photographed something inside the bar. So whether it be that he was doing drugs or something illegal or a transaction, maybe he was with a prostitute. He didn't want his wife to find out. But his goal was to try to get all our phones in this camera for one reason or another. And he was like really, really... It, it, I don't know if you've ever been in like a, a, a place where a big fight broke out. Like this guy was angry. He wanted to fight. And I wasn't about to fight no police officer. So the green shirt police officer, he knew we were not intoxicated. We we're telling the truth. So he grabbed a hold of the man by the back pants, almost like you're giving a wedgie when you're a kid, and held on to him. And the guy kept aggressively trying to get away. Like he's pushing the police like this. And... I was there and I wasn't about to let that happen. So I'm pushing the, the criminal, AKA the drunk or drugged up police officer that stole my shit towards the police station. So you'll see me in the video pushing him. To, and the guy's like, don't touch me. I'm like, no, I'm helping this police officer. Okay, I'm, this is me all the time. I bite back. Now we continue to go on. The man is still evading arrest. And you'll see in the video, the, the man in the green shirt, the police officer looked at me and said, Chris, help me bring this man to the ground and put the handcuffs on. And I said, gladly. Gave my phone to Mo, gave the man a good hip toss. You know, I'm a wrestler. Uh, and, and had him down and choked him out a bit, put the hands behind, and then let him go. We, our intention wasn't to hurt him. 
he needed to be held accountable for what he did. I'm not. Are you, are you, in this are, you, are you a police officer? I'm not. I'm Why are you inside here? Okay, I'm going to. I will show you how to do it. No. I've got the full information. Okay, let's go. You're I've got the full so yeah. I'm not, I'm not let's go to the police. No, officer. let's go. Then you I've, go. I've no. called my superior. Yeah. I'm not obey, I'm obey the police. Obey the police. Obey. Obey. What is this? You're lucky. No, no, you're lucky. No, no. You're lucky. No, no, no. Yeah. No, no, no. And if you I don't know if you want to do, are going to kill me. No. 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 We're not going to kill you. No, 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 no. no. You will go. No, no, We're not no, going to no, kill you. Go. Go. Can I help you? you will Can go. I help you? I'm not resisting. You will yeah, go. you are resisting. You will go. I'm not resisting. I'm not resisting. You're drunk. I'm not resisting. You're drunk. You're robbing us, man. I'm not resisting. I can't tolerate that. I'm not resisting. This is defaming. You are defaming us. Why do you rob us? You are defaming police officer here. Why do you robbing us money from with this bag and you run away with our camera? Why can't you once why can't you do your work professional? Are you finished? Can I talk? I'm not resisting arrest. What are you doing? Let's see, let's go there. There's nothing to go. The why judge will see you tomorrow. Why are you saying I go there? Why are you robbing us? You three guys. You stole. You three guys. You stole. We must have stole. Why are you pushing me? Because he needs help. He needs help. That's why. That's why I'll help. I'll help him. I'll help him. He needs help. I'll help him. He's a police officer. See what happens? He pretended to be a police officer to go in the bag and steal. No, 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 no,
to see anything bad happen to these officers. And at that point, my adrenaline is going up. I'm like, no, I'm pressing charges. This man escalated this way higher than it had to be. He stole from us. He pretended to be a police officer. Even if he is a police officer, when you're on drugs or intoxicated, you're no longer a police officer. I said, I want to press charges. So at that point, they gave me the ultimatum, like, you can press charges, but then you're not going to get your camera or your, your stuff back, your ID. So the option was, let the charges drop, get my stuff back and go home and relax and continue on with my, my vacation and or no, I can press charges and my camera's gone. So I decided I want my camera back. I have all my footage that I haven't downloaded yet, which is very important to me. I said, go get my camera and I will not press any charges. The man went, came back, gave me my camera. I shook his hand in a way of peace saying, look, I'm not pressing no charges. What you did was wrong, 100% wrong. Um, I hope you don't do this to another tourist. You know, Masai Mara really rely on tourists to come here. And the police, the good police that were there, multiple times said, there, you are an embarrassment to the police force. You do not represent Kenya. So I don't, 100%, there were some really, really nice police there. Um, but that's it. That's my story. Okay, it's the morning after. I didn't know if I should share my story. I have video footage that I've put throughout this. Um, Mo was incredible he stood by my side no matter what uh he's a good man i don't think you guys realize how good of a man mo is because you guys only see his animated side when the camera's on when there's no camera on mo's a very quite quiet intelligent man it's almost like a character for a movie you guys don't get that mo is not always high adrenaline he's very sharp and, and not all friends would stand by when, when this kind of stuff happened a lot of friends will disappear Mo didn't. Mo, Mo hung around. He's a friend for life. He's a very good man. Um, that's where I'm at. Today we're going to go visit the Maasai Market. Tomorrow, I think we're going to start making our journey back uh, to Marwa's village, Nabuhanse. Just wanted to update you guys with what happened. Leave a comment down below. Let me know. What would you have done? Would you have pressed charges and, and, and given up your camera and footage? Or did I do the right thing? And, you know, I'm never going to please everyone. There are going to be some people in the comments that are going to say, it was my fault that it happened. Um, I swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. That is exactly in very great detail what happened. You'll see the criminal's face on the camera. That is the person. That is it. Mo's waiting for me at breakfast. Talk to you guys in the next video.